I know that you know who Marilyn Monroe is. But did you know that I know what really happened to her? Okay, maybe I don't actually know, but I do have a theory. The official story says that Marilyn, who had been diagnosed with depression about 12 years earlier, committed suicide by swallowing a lethal dose of barbiturates, but I think something here smells fishy. I actually believe Marilyn Monroe's death was part of a cover-up that the Kennedys are responsible for. The official story goes that after midnight on August 5th, 1962, Monroe's maid, Eunice Murray, noticed her bedroom light was still on. When Murray found the door locked and Marilyn unresponsive to her calls, she called Monroe's psychiatrist, Dr. Ralph Greenson, who broke a window to get into Monroe's bedroom. This is when he reported her to be dead. He then called her physician, Dr. Hyman Engelberg, who arrived at her house at around 3.50 a.m. and officially pronounced her dead. At 4.25 a.m., they notified the Los Angeles Police Department. Her official cause of death was ruled as probable suicide. At the time of her autopsy, her system showed a lethal dose of barbiturates, but her stomach was empty, which meant one of two things. She had either had the drugs injected or she had absorbed them anally via enema. And since there were no signs of injections or signs of her body having been injected, it was most likely the enema. A former Los Angeles police officer claimed in 1962 that the Hollywood legend's death scene appeared staged. According to Fabulous Gabriel, the author of Marilyn Monroe's The Lost Diary, the coroner took samples of physical specimens that were supposed to be analyzed, but they all of a sudden went missing. Monroe's body parts had been disposed of because the chief toxicologist, Raymond J. Abernathy, felt no other tests were needed. Prior to having gotten to sleep last night, Monroe had spoken to a few of her friends and her loved ones over the phone, including her former stepson, Joe DiMaggio Jr., and none of these people she spoke with noticed any alarming or unusual behaviors. Marilyn Monroe was found dead after midnight, August 5th, 1962. It had only been two and a half months after her famous happy birthday performance for President John F. Kennedy's 45th birthday on May 19th, 1962 at Madison Square Garden. Both John Kennedy and his younger brother, U.S. Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy, were suspected to have had sexual affairs with Monroe, and both brothers had decided to end their relationship with her. She also unintentionally kept a large number of very sensitive information about the Kennedys. Whenever she spent time with them, she took down notes in a little red notebook that she kept with the intention of having conversation topics that she had previously threatened the Kennedys with divulging. The notebook was also left lying around, and she had a lot of very powerful friends who could have had access to it, including the Mafia. After the night she died, that notebook was never seen again. Though it had initially been reported that Robert Kennedy was in Boston at the time of Marilyn Monroe's death, a tape recorder still rolling after Marilyn Monroe was found dead caught Eunice Murray, Monroe's maid, saying she had been at her house the night she died. In 2007, an Australian filmmaker named Philippe Mora discovered a partially redacted FBI document that suggests Robert Kennedy may have been complicit in a plot to induce her suicide. When taking the facts and comparing to the documented truth, I personally believe the Kennedys are responsible for her death, and it was all a cover-up. Neither RFK nor JFK wanted their wives to find out they were sleeping with Marilyn Monroe, and because of her little red notebook with a lot of very sensitive information, there was a lot of risk of the information getting into the wrong hands, including the mafias. She was a liability. The FBI and or the CIA undoubtedly assisted as they were notorious for taking care of business when classified information was at risk of getting out. There are so many unanswered questions. Why did Eunice Murray call Marilyn's psychiatrist and not the police or an ambulance when he found her dead in her bedroom? Why were the police not called until about two hours after she was first found? It's particularly suspicious. It's particularly suspicious that it's officially reported that Robert Kennedy was in Massachusetts at the time of her death, but her maid was recorded on tape saying that he had been there earlier that day. Fun fact. There's a time capsule that Marilyn left her psychiatrist called Box 39. 
and it's set to be open in the year 2039. This is thought to have insight regarding Marilyn Monroe's death, so stick around for 19 years and we'll find out what really happened together.